Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Um, it is evening here in London. Uh, I am done with two days in uh, an amazing city, an expensive city, but an amazing city. Um, I'm exhausted. Uh, I haven't done as much of the video blogging as I thought it was going to be right off the bat. I haven't downloaded the software yet either because uh, it's been crazy. I had 30 things on my list that I wanted to see before uh, I got here, and I ended up seeing 26 of them, so I did pretty well. Um, quickly, you know, I'm not posting a lot of photos or going into great depth on all the things you can see because, frankly, I think most of you know what's big in London and uh, you can go and download countless, well, better produced videos than this one to see them. But I will say, um, the two tours that I took, I took of uh, Westminster Abbey and the Tower of London. Um, I am not an Anglophile by any means, uh, but I will tell you that this was really neat. Uh, when you think about the fact that London was the center of the universe for hundreds of years and getting to see some of this history at a time when so many countries were run by kings. Um, it's just, it's amazing. I mean, if, if you're a fan of the show Game of Thrones, this is the real deal and you get to go in and, and see it. At Westminster Abbey, it's obviously, obviously where uh, kings and queens have been married um, or dukes and duchesses as happened last year. Uh, it's been a place where a lot of people are buried, both uh, kings like King Edward, King Henry III, uh, King William II, uh, but other famous people, Charles Darwin, Isaac Newton, Charles Dickens, all been buried there. Um, and then the Tower of London, you get to see, you know, the crown jewels. You get to see uh, the armor worn by kings in battle. And uh, you get to check out the weapons. Uh, it's, it's really something. And, of course, walking through these castles that are over a thousand years old. Unbelievable. So, uh, London, like I said, it is an expensive city. Obviously, Britain's on the pound, which uh, has a terrible exchange rate with the U.S. dollar. So this is probably the most expensive city I'm going to be in, but it's still been doable. Uh, the hostel you see behind me is fantastic. Uh, they're packed in there all the time, which is basically why I'm out on the stairs right now. But you're talking about a room that comes about $37 a night. It's got free Wi-Fi. It's got free breakfast every morning. Nice lounge. Really clean. Probably the cleanest one I've been in. Um, but against the Central American hostels, I would say these are much cleaner, a few more amenities, but I would say probably less privacy. You're more likely to get your own place, uh, and of course for cheaper uh, in Nicaragua, but you're going to be dealing with a little more dirt and a lot of bugs. But this place is really clean, and it's been a nice experience. Uh, as far as food goes, um, London has got a lot of places that make uh, have a great breadth of pre-made sandwiches, um, sort of like Saladelia, but with about ten times as much selection, and really cheap. It's, they seem to be real popular with the professionals here. So, uh, my favorite has been a place that I believe is called Pret a Manger. Uh, I was calling it Pret a Manger earlier, like an American who has no idea how to speak French. Um, but they probably had 25 different sandwich selections, and so you get a, a sandwich uh, and, and a drink for about what amounted to about seven dollars American, so really not bad when you consider that London is essentially the New York of, of uh, Europe. Anyway, it is um, uh, over two days. I think it's my total has been about two hundred and thirty-six dollars and sixty-one cents, a little bit over the hundred dollars a day that I wanted to be over. But, but uh, you know, when you consider that London is probably the most expensive city I'm going to be dealing with, um, really not a big deal. So anyway, tomorrow I head to Norwich to see my friends Tom and Trudy. Uh, looking forward to a great weekend with them, and then I head off to other adventures in England. Uh, I, I will be getting photos up eventually. I plan to get software downloaded so I can make them that way, but until then, you'll just have to look at my ugly mug. So have a great weekend uh, in uh, the States, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.